All right, so we are going to go through one of the coolest innovations that I've seen so far, you know, that have come out in this summer as far as just being able to use your phone, but also just having a little bit of help on a part of the game that I think is really, really neglected. And so this all started, we've been doing this Chasing Glory series. I've been trying to play more in tournaments and I've been taking stats, doing all my look at how I'm playing out when I'm on the golf course in those tournament rounds. And my putting hasn't been great. Now I'm not like three putting a ton or anything like that, but have been, you know, not making so many. So what I felt like too is I wasn't getting the reads right. So I started kind of thinking, all right, I need to get a little more systematic with how I'm reading these greens. So I went ahead and I started looking up and I found these roll maps, okay? And this is from a company called Slope Grade. And so what these are, are these tournament legal maps that basically just give you an idea about speed, how much you should hit the putt, because I've been finding I've been kind of like leaving putts short or like they're just not getting there with good speed. Like they're, if they get to the hole, they're like barely getting there, which isn't ideal. So what my goal is when I'm trying to hit putts is I want to get that ball to roll a certain distance past the hole. And so I found these and these have led me to another great innovation from the same company that I had never even heard of. So let's talk first about these roll maps and kind of take you to the journey to where we're going with how their technology is gonna be awesome, I think. So, let's get to it. All right, so what are these roll maps that we are talking about? Well, basically, they are a chart that is going to show you the speed that you need to be hitting to hit at a desired distance past the hole. So, when you go to their website, and which I did, and I purchased these maps, is I said, hey, I like to hit it about a foot past the hole. To me, that's a good speed. You could do more, or you could have that dying speed right by the hole. I like a foot past. That's always a good speed, I think, trying to get that ball to get to the hole, but leave a very easy one coming back. So what happens is you figure out how far your putt is. So you do have to guess that. That's what makes these tournament legal, is that I'm still doing some guesswork and reading. But once I do that, I also take a guess at how many inches uphill or downhill that putt is. And if I do that, that's going to make me a speed of saying, hey, in the first second of your putt, you need the ball to, be, to have rolled this amount of feet. So that sounds like a lot. And when I first saw it, I was like, man, this is going to be, that's a lot to think about. But then I tried it. I took it to the course. I then took it to a tournament. I saw some really, really good things, but there are some steps that you're gonna need to do to be able to set up and work on this. So let's start with that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is we actually need to get a stimp reading of the green. Now, some places you play, they do this for you already. A lot of the places I play do not do this. So, so I don't have a stimp meter, okay, which is essentially just a ramp that rolls the ball, and then we just measure how many feet that goes. So we've kind of had to come up with our own way to do this, which slope grade will actually help you with this a little bit. So what I did is I've got two alignment rods, and I've got them marked here, and it's 30 inches from the end. So a stimp meter is 30 inches. And when you stimp, all you're gonna be doing is rolling a ball, you lift this up and roll the ball, and see how many feet it rolls. That's what a stimp meter reading is, okay? And so the key was you have to lift it up 20 degrees. So had to get on the old Goog. We had to look at some of the you know, Pythagorean theorem, some of that stuff I do not remember. But what we figured out was if I want a 30 inch long roll and I want a 20 degree angle, that I need to have the rods lifted up right around 10 inches, just over, like 10.1, okay? So, I actually have a level that I carry with me, and I'll explain this digital level here in a sec, but I've actually got it marked where I need that to be, okay? So it's right about there, and all I'm gonna do is roll three golf balls. You can see pretty consistent there and I just need to find the average of the three. So from my spot, I have to mark my spot here. I'm going to walk it off. Now I'm lucky I have exactly a size 12 foot. So when I walk it off, 
other than having terrible balance. So we're right around eight and a half on this green, okay? So eight and a half on this green for that stimp, okay? So what I do then is I go to my cards and I figure this out what card I need, okay? So this is the card I'm gonna have for the day. So I've got my eight and a half, and there's an uphill and a downhill side that I would look at. So that's what I've done so far at my tournament rounds. I've gotten there early, and I've actually taken a stint meter reading of the greens, get the card out, and this goes in my yardage book holder, just like with my scorecard and everything. And uh, that's how we've gotten things started. So let's show you how this works as we go forward with it, okay? All right, so we've got a putt set up now, all right? So I did it, go ahead and measure a nine foot putt here, okay? And so what we need to do as we go through this process with these cards is first we have to determine the distance of the putt. Now, again, I've got help here. This is something that people can do. Um, I have been just eyeing it up in tournaments. You have to do that. But I find it to be pretty close when you're doing it on your own. And you'll find that, hey, your speed will be pretty good as well. So the other thing is when you're looking at it, you have to say, all right, hey, it's uphill or downhill. So this putt is uphill. And if you have any questions about that, that's where our level comes in. And I can actually just measure it and see what's going on. So I can see my little bump is actually making it look like it's going up that way. So I know it's an uphill putt. The guesstimation part here is gonna be how much do I think it's up? I'm gonna call it an inch, okay? It's not crazy up. And so what I do is I go to my chart here and I'm gonna go for a nine foot putt, nine foot putt, and it's up one inch. Okay, so that gives me this green code, which down here tells me this putt needs to roll six feet after one second, okay? So, we know it's nine foot, so I'm gonna find my three foot mark. After one second, this putt needs to hit this tee right here, okay? So, I did a little practicing, counting, one, one thousand, one, one thousand, one, one thousand, trying to get a feel for my cadence of it. And then what I've actually found is, once I've got my line and everything, I just focus on whatever that distance was. So if it's six feet, I'm gonna say, all right, one one thousand try to hit that spot in that one one thousand of a second i'm not even worried about the hole anymore and that's been actually been really really helpful for me as we go so one one thousand one one thousand is it one one thousand let's give it a putt so i hit that way too hard right by the time i counted one one thousand the ball was like right here that ball is well past one foot so I'm gonna work on it again. Let's do it again. One, 1,000, one, 1,000, one, 1,000. That was a little better, still a little fast, but you can see we're right around, you know, maybe a foot and a half past there as we go. Let's see if I can get it even a little bit better than that. Okay, one, 1,000, one, 1,000. That was even better. Hit my T, but that one was better. And so what I found in doing this has, is it's been really helpful for me in playing with my routine. And when I'm actually practicing now, I'm actually practicing my speed in a way that is a little bit more in control. And I'm getting the ball to the hole now as I'm going through and hitting these putts. So this was super helpful for me and just getting that speed where, you know, I was leaving putts from this range, I'm hitting them like to here, and it was just driving me nuts. And I'm like, man, at least get it there. So this has been a really helpful tool and something I'm continuing to work on. And I've seen my strokes gain putting drop by almost two to three strokes since I've started using this. Now, the really cool part though is, and I didn't expect this, was there is actually an app that goes with this, okay? So when we look at it, okay, you get this app and what this app does is essentially, it basically lets you put the data in 
and it's gonna tell you everything that you need to know. So first things first, as we go through, I'm going to switch this. I got, we said it was eight and a half. So I gotta put in our speed, okay? We said it was one inch up, okay? And then right now we are gonna leave it at dead center. We're not gonna do the break yet, but we do that. All of a sudden, what this does is it actually gives us some models to look at of like how fast this is going to look at. It actually gives us a look at how that stroke should actually look. And I can see that on the phone here as we go. It's really, really cool. I can also turn on a metronome. So let's say I wanna practice it. I can get it to start clicking its stroke for me. So it's really, really cool. I could actually set this alongside my phone on the ground, put it right next to it, and then just start tracing that stroke to get a feel for that. And I can go all the way up to you know 30 feet with this. And so that's something that's really, really cool. The other thing that they have on here is they do have an AR where you can just look at it with your phone. Now I've got to get more practice with that, but that is gonna be something that's gonna be available where it actually, you just show it on the green and it's going to show you where you're going and hey, hit it over here. That's really cool. Obviously that part is not tournament legal, but it's a great way to practice your green reading. Now, the other thing that's really cool, and this is gonna be for people that understand what, there's a green reading system called Aimpoint out there. The thing that I can do is I can actually input the percentage of slope, okay? So this is where you use a digital level. And what I do is I'm going to put this on the ground and it actually will give me my slope percentage. Here we go. So this putt is breaking 1% to the left. Okay, so I can actually input that on the app. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. It's giving you an idea to start understanding how to give yourself the best chance to make that putt. Okay, so you can see that one was breaking. Now, that was moving a little fast maybe, but it was breaking in there as we were going and getting that ball to roll. So that's a really cool thing that's happening with that app. And I think it could be something that's really cool going forward, helping people get better at green reading, which I don't think people pay enough attention to. Now, with that said, that's not even the coolest part of all of this, okay? We got one more thing we gotta show you. All right, so the coolest thing, again, this is just me going down the rabbit hole of everything, is instead of having all this stuff, which you know you can get, they actually have this ball marker that Bluetooth to the app, and this actually will do the reading for you, and it's gonna give you what you need. So I actually have not tried this yet, it's super easy to set up, just like connecting a Bluetooth device to your phone. It does it automatically in the app for you. So we get it set up, but we're gonna take this over here. And so what I'm gonna do is throw this down, okay? So you can see we have this thing put on here and all I gotta really tell it is how far this putt is. So I'm giving it a guess here, seven feet. Uh, you have the same preferences. I tell it, hey, I want that one foot past. I have, and it's telling me everything else I need. It's saying, all right, hey, this is a two inch uphill putt. And also we are feeling a half percent slope as we go. And if you ever see like the half percent, you ever see the guys on TV, they're like feeling it with their feet and stuff. That's all they're doing. They're feeling out the, the slope percentage. A lot of people read their greens that way now. They don't use their eyes because your eyes can trick you. So they do that and then we get all the same information. We can do that putt model, we can get everything. It also is telling me the read here. It's telling me if I was to hit a putt, we're gonna go left center with this guy. Okay, so let's see if I can actually execute as we go. So we'll pick up our mark, obviously not legal, but a really cool little practice tool. I think you can get some reads, start feeling things as you go. Left center, oh, I started it at the flag. Ooh, good try though, let me try that again. We gotta get that one. All right, left center. I started it like center. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. 
That's what I was talking about. I need my speed as I go. But you can see if I had the speed up, I probably actually would have made that. It wouldn't have broke off as hard. So if I get that foot pass speed, I'm gonna have it. And that's what I love about all of this is it's really cool because now I'm actually practicing my putting in a way that is systematic. Plus you have the charts, which are tournament legal that I can take out. So I can actually get that focus on speed while I'm out there. But now I actually feel pretty good about practicing and saying, all right, hey, I'm kind of learning some things. So this ball marker, again, while not legal, what you can do with it is use it for practice. Hey, here's the putt that I'm trying to do. Let's fire up the phone, let's fire up the ball marker and say, all right, let's place it around the green. What is it telling me? What would my read be? Then throw this down. What is it telling me? See where you're at. That's a really, really interesting tool and one that I think a lot of people would benefit from. So if you have questions about this, go check out Slope Grade. This is not sponsored by them, okay? This is just something, again, I went down the rabbit hole trying to help myself with speed then I started realizing, hey, there are some tools out there that can just help my overall putting and how things are working. And it's been helping me a ton. So getting this device, this ball marker, I think it's something that's great. Great Father's Day present coming up. Something that could really help out the player, but also you could see how this can be a great system for just working on, hey, get your speed dialed in, get your reads dialed in, and then go out there and start getting trained to make more putts, which is what we're trying to do, all right? If you have questions about it, please leave a comment down below. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already, and we'll see everybody in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.